like it. Today, we will learn what is probability and conduct a few basic probability experiments to learn basics of probability. So let's get started. The word probability means chance of occurring or not something. And this word is very commonly used in our daily life. Like, chances of teams A and B winning a certain match are equal. Probably it may rain tomorrow. Probably you are right. But now we will learn how to calculate the probability of occurring or not occurring something and tell the same in numbers. Before learning how to calculate probability in numbers, we will learn a few things. Now, let's learn what are equally likely cases. Example, if we toss a coin, possible outcomes are a head or a tail. Are both outcomes equally likely? That is, both have equal probability to occur. Yes, these outcomes are equally likely. That is, head and tail are equally equally probable to come if we throw a coin. So, the total number of equally likely cases are two in the case of a coin. Now, let's take another example. If we throw a dice, what are the possible outcomes or cases? It is one, two, three, four, five, or six. That is, six possible outcomes are there. And are all these numbers equally likely? That is, all numbers are equally probable to come if we throw a dice? Yes! All these numbers are equally probable. That is, equally likely. So, equally likely cases in the case of a dice are six. That is, numbers one to six. Now, let's take another example. If I throw two coins at the same time, what are the possible outcomes or cases? It is head and tail. That is either one head, one tail. Either one head, one tail. Or either both heads or both tails. And all these cases are equally likely. That is, all these cases are equally probable to occur. So, how many equally likely cases are there? Four equally likely cases are there if you flip two coins. So kids, now you know. What are equally likely cases? Now, let's take another example. Here we have a spinner. If I spin this wheel, whee! How many possible outcomes or cases are there? There are four possible cases. Spinner may stop at diamond, star, cloud, or triangle. No other option is there. And are all these outcomes equally likely? Yes, these outcomes are equally likely 
as all options are occupying the same space on the wheel. Here we have another wheel. If I spin this wheel, how many possible outcomes or cases are there? Three cases are possible. The spinner may stop at cloud, star, or a triangle. And are all these cases equally likely? No, all the cases are not equally likely, as it is more probable that the spinner will stop at cloud, as it occupies more space on the spinner wheel. So, the three cases are not equally likely. It is more probable that the spinner will stop at cloud, as it occupies more space on spinner wheel. So, the three cases are not equally likely. So kids, we learned that the total number of equally likely outcomes or cases possible in experiment, if we toss a coin, are two head or tail. And in case of a dice, equally likely cases are six. They are numbers one, two, six. Now let's learn another term. It is favorable cases, our cases or outcomes. We want out of the total possible outcomes. Let's take an example. I want a head to come if I toss a coin. So, here the favorable case is heads. Now, I want number four to come if I throw a dice. Here too. There is only one favorable case, that is, coming of number four. Now, if I want any even number to come, if I throw a dice, there are three even numbers out of six numbers on a dice. Two, four, six. So, there are three favorable cases coming of two, four, or six. Now, if I want number seven to come if I throw a dice, is there any favorable case? No, there will be no favorable case, as number seven is not there on the dice. So, zero favorable cases is there in this case. Now you know what is probability. What are possible outcomes in the probability experiments? What are equally likely case? And what are favorable cases? Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.